Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a collective haul. Before we jump right in, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. Please subscribe if you haven't done so, hit the like button and activate that notification bell. This first fragrance that I hauled was actually thanks to Maria from its MJ. She posted a link to the Armani site when they were having their sale. And she was signed up for their notifications when something was back in stock. And guess what it was? Armani Code Satin. I couldn't believe it. I don't think I've ever clicked on the buy button so fast. This one is extinct pretty much. And you really can't find it anywhere. So again, this is Armani Code Satin. And I have never owned this previously. This was a blind purchase. I have heard about this so much on YouTube. Anna Absolute always raves about this, and so do many other people here on YouTube. I have wanted to try this for the longest time, and I was on the waiting list for different sites, and of course, it never came in. Like I said, this is extinct. So God bless Maria for putting that link over there. Thank you, girl. I finally was able to purchase it. I'll read the notes to you. So this is Neroli Jasmine Orange Blossom. The dry down is Praline Patchouli Cocoa Vanilla. And so in the opening, you get that blast of the orange blossom that comes in strong. It smells so good. So this blast of orange comes in and it smells like um, orange sponge cake. Um, another thing it reminds me of is the, it reminds me so much of the Salvatore Ferragamo fragrance. Amo Ferragamo. Amo Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo. It has that same vibe it has that note that orange popsicle type of feel it smells like an orange dessert whether it's the sorbet or some kind of a popsicle but it does have that blast of like sweet orange sorbet type of thing it smells delicious and then it dries down to this beautiful sweet praline vanilla it's very cozy smelling very comforting yet sexy it has great tiage. I've worn this and it smelled so great as I caught whiffs of this in my hair and my clothes. This has great projection and great lasting power. This stays on for a very long time. This stuff is beast mode and this is absolutely beautiful. Now I know what all the hype was about. I am so glad to have this one added to my collection because this is absolutely delicious. It's also cozy, like being wrapped in a warm blanket or like an oversized sweater, like a cable knit type of warm sweater, especially in the cold fall winter days. This will be just perfect. So beautiful. So the next fragrance I hauled is the Bewitching Yasmin, and I posted a video reviewing this in depth. I reviewed this, and this is part of the Ben Halligan's Portraits Collection. And uh, if you want to see that in-depth review, I'm going to link it down below, and you can check that out after this video. So I'm briefly just going to show it to you and, uh, you know, just read the notes. So this is what the bottle looks like. So it has a cat top and um, all of them have some type of an animal top or a bird. And uh, so it's like this, the cap is heavy. And uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, this one was talked about and reviewed by From Abby With Love. She has a large Penhaligans collection and I strongly recommend her channel. I will link it down below. This has notes of cardamom, coffee, jasmine, fur, incense, oud, vanilla. So at first in the opening, you get like a 
creamy, spicy coffee, as if you just sprinkled cardamom into your coffee. It's very resinous, it's very smoky, it's sensual, it's inviting. This has beautiful sillage, great longevity, and great projection. So this next fragrance that I hauled is also from Penhaligans, The Portrait Club. And this one is Clandestine Clara. The bottle looks like so, and this one's a peacock. It has the card. The other one was missing this part. Oh, it has that peacock head, if you can see it right there. I love these bottles. They're stunning. And uh, this one is gonna be sitting next to my bewitching Yasmin. And the notes are cinnamon, creamy vanilla, sugary rum, amber, patchouli, woody. So this fragrance is very sweet and spicy. Upon the opening, you really get that rum. That rum is very punchy. Yet it's sugary, so it's sweet, but it's very potent. It's strong. So this is very boozy. It's complex. It's smoky. It's exotic. The dry down is absolutely stunning. This dries down to the most beautiful gourmand vanilla. Like it's just the sweet, sweet, sugary, rummy, boozy type of vanilla. The rum goes more into the background. It turns more smoky. It's not as boozy as it was in the opening, but it's just such a beautiful, comforting, sensual scent. And this could definitely be unisex. This leans a little bit masculine, especially in the opening when it's very potent, very strong. It smells almost like a man's cologne. And it's just delicious. It's a savory vanilla. This is going to be perfect for those fall evenings, like chilly days, the winter time, especially during the evenings. I think that this one, I like the... Wicked Jasmine is appropriate for evening wear because they are both very potent, very strong, very much in your face. They're not for the faint of heart. Beast mode projects, the longevity is there. Siage is beautiful and it's just really a beautiful fragrance. It's well-rounded, well-blended. It is complex. It does have different stages that it goes through from the opening to the dry down and each stage has its own beauty. So this is clandestine, Clara. This is, why? This is clandestine. It's a tongue twister. It's like, she sells seashells by the seashore. Can I say that 10 times? No. I have this one in the travel size, and this one is the BDK Rouge Smoking. I will insert the picture of the fragrance up below. And up below, did I just say up below? I will insert the picture of this fragrance on top. And so you could see what the full size bottle looks like. The bottles are really nice, I like them. So basically I heard about this from Emmy's World of Fragrance. She talked about this one in a few of her videos. And uh, I was just curious about the BDK line in general as a fragrance house. Demi Rowland talks about this one uh, and her favorite is uh, Chanel, Gris Chanel, I think. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but I was curious about this one, especially since this has a cherry note and I've been on that cherry kick and it's been all about cherries. And, uh, this has notes of bergamot cherry, pink berries, black vanilla, heliotrope, ambroxum, cashmere, and tonka bean, labdanum, white musk. That's a lot of notes for a little bottle like this. I'll spray some on my arm. I love that cherry note. So the cherry is very prominent in this. Um, it's a boozy type of cherry upon the opening. It smells like a cherry liqueur that you get in those chocolate candies and that uh, you bite into it and it oozes out. So it, that's what that smells like. And then as it dries down, it starts smelling smoky. So you feel like you're roasting cherries by a fire pit. Um, I don't know if you can roast cherries. I never tried personally, but so picture this. If, if Guerlain 
Mon Petit Noir, the cherry one, the one with a prominent cherry note. And so if Guerlain Le Petit Noir had a baby with Mason Margiela's fireplace, this is what it would smell like. So if they had a baby, this would be it. This would be Rouge Smoking. You get the cherry, you get that fire pit type of scent. You can almost smell the wood that is burned in a fire pit and that smoke that it emits. And um, it's just, it's good, it's good. I like this one a lot. I'm still debating with myself whether or not I should get a full bottle of this. I think I'm experiencing cherry fatigue at this point just because I've used different cherry, you know, Mon Petit Noir, then I got the Black Perfecto. Dancing Roses, that one has a prominent cherry note. And um, my Banana Republic, Dark Amber and Cherry. I think that's what it's called, but it, you get the point. I've had cherry fragrance like up to here. I love this, like I am enjoying this, but I am not sure if I will commit to the full size once this finishes. I'll have to see. So I'm gonna base it on if I miss this once, I'm done with it. Like if I'm missing the scent, that means that it's meant to be in my life. So I'm gonna kind of just leave it out there for the universe and I'll see what happens once I run out of this. So that completes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And please let me know down below if you tried any of these, what you think of them if you have, or what you've hauled lately. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon. Take care.